Britain's national broadcaster, the BBC, has faced questions from the government over allegations involving one of its leading presenters. The Sun newspaper has reported that the male presenter paid $45,000 to a youth for sexually explicit photos. The young person was 17 when the payments began. The identities of the presenter and the youth have not been revealed. Let's go to our correspondent, Harry Fawcett, in London, standing just outside BBC headquarters. So, Harry, how did this all come about? Well, it came out through an article in The Sun newspaper where the, the mother of the young person involved uh, went to the paper. Uh, as you're saying, none of the people involved in this are being named, but she says that uh, when her child was 17 years old, uh, they were contacted by this unnamed well-known figure within the BBC, allegedly, and was solicited for uh, uh, sexually explicit images for which uh, this person is alleged to have paid considerable amounts of money, as you say, up to 45,000 US dollars uh, in the three years since that first contact. Uh, at one stage, the mother says there was a, a lump payment of six and a half thousand US dollars. Uh, and she also says that she went to the BBC uh, with this information nearly two months ago and is complaining in the newspaper that nothing apparently appeared to have been done. Certainly, the person involved was not, she says, taken off air as a result of this allegation. The BBC says that it is investigating, that it takes these sorts of allegations extremely seriously. And it also says that such investigations also include actively attempting to speak to those who have contacted us in order to seek further detail. If we get no reply to our attempts or receive no further contact, that can limit our ability to progress things, although saying that their investigations were continuing. I think some people have interpreted that as a... As trying to put some of the blame onto the people involved, the mother involved, uh, that has attracted yet further criticism. And now the Culture Secretary for the UK government has spoken to the Director General of the BBC on Sunday, uh, seeking a very quick investigation. She says she received assurances that this would be investigated swiftly and sensitively. Harry, however you look at it, this is not coming down well on the BBC, is it? No, I think a lot of the resultant uh, reputational damage will, to some extent, depend on exactly how this investigation does proceed. It will depend, to some extent, on just how well-known, just how senior a personality this uh, allegation relates to. But also, a lot of it will be how the BBC has seen to respond so far. There has been considerable criticism from both uh, government ministers, the opposition as well, the, uh, uh, the uh, main finance spokesperson for the opposition saying that the uh, person involved should have been taken off air uh, immediately while this investigation was underway. And so the BBC will have to protect uh, the, any potential harm to this young person who, whose mother says uh, has spiralled into crack cocaine addiction as part of the, uh, the fallout from all of this. We'll also have to protect its own reputation in terms of a, of a swift investigation, and it has a duty of care to its other leading male presenters, some of whom have publicly taken to social media to say that it isn't them, because a lot of people are being named on social media. So there's a duty of care to those staff members as well. And, of course, there have been other recent scandals involving the BBC, uh, most recently the chairman having to resign over his involvement in a loan deal arranged for the former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Thank you for that. Harry Fawcett there for us in London.